वेलकम वी स्टार्ट विथ वेरी बेसिक क्वेश्चन क्वेश्चन इज वॉट इज द पर्पज ऑफ द फैब्रिटी टेस्ट इन द फार्मास्यूटिकल इंडस्ट्री द फैब्रिटी टेस्ट इन फार्मास्यूटिकल इंडस्ट्री इज कंडक्टेड टू एसेस द ड्यूरेबिलिटी दैट इज स्ट्रेंथ और टफनेस ऑफ टैबलेट फॉर्मुलेशन ड्यूरिंग हैंडलिंग पैकेजिंग एंड ट्रांसपोर्टेशन इन सिंपल वर्ड्स फैब्रिटी टेस्ट टेल्स हाउ मच मैकेनिकल स्ट्रेस टैबलेट्स आर एबल टू विस्टैंड Second question for how many rotations we should rotate fiability test apparatus drum and at what rpm in the fiability test the drum is rotated 100 times and the recommended rpm that is rotations per minute for fiability test is 25 rpm how many tablets we should take for fiability test for easy understanding consider following two cases case 1 tablets with a unit weight equal to or less than 650 mg in such cases take sample of whole tablets corresponding as near as possible to 650 mg that is 6.5 g for example if tablet is having 50 mg weight then divide 650 by 50 we will get the answer as 13 and in this case we should take 13 tablets for fiability test now consider case 2 if tablets are with unit weight of more than 650 mg in such case take a sample of 10 whole tablets for example the tablet is having the unit weight of 700 mg in such case we should take 10 tablets for fiability test describe the procedure for conducting a fiability test on tablets following are the five key steps that are followed during fiability test first sample preparation second initial weighing third apparatus setup fourth tumbling and abrasion and fifth final step final weighing and calculation why de dusting is important prior to fiability test answer is de dusting helps to remove all extraneous particles powder granules allowing for a more precise measurement of the tablets giving the actual weight that is accurate weighing is possible after the de dusting what are the required specifications for drum used in the fiability test apparatus following are the few important specifications for drum used in fiability test apparatus which includes moc internal diameter depth inside radius and rotation speed you can refer the schematic of tablet fiability apparatus for more details which usp chapter talk about tablet fiability testing usp chapter number 1216 titled as tablet fiability testing is guiding about the fiability test of compressed and uncoated tablets what is formula for calculating fiability and what is acceptance criteria percent fiability is calculated with the formula as initial weight minus final weight divided by initial weight into 100 here initial weight refers to weight of tablets before 100 rotations and final weight refers to weight of tablets after 100 rotations acceptance criteria as per usp for fiability is a maximum mean weight loss from the three samples of not more than 1% is considered acceptable for most products what is the relation between fiability test and tablet hardness tablet hardness measures resistance to breaking or cracking under compression ensuring tablet integrity during handling whereas the fiability test evaluates the ability of tablets to withstand for abrasion and mechanical stress during transportation and packaging when we should repeat fiability test as per usp chapter number 1216 the fiability test is usually done once if the tablets are clearly cracked or broken after tumbling the sample fails if the results are uncertain or if the weight loss is higher than the target the test is repeated twice more and the average of the three tests is calculated for most products a maximum average weight loss of 1% is considered acceptable 
when we should tilt drum during fabricity test and at what degree if the tablet's size or shape makes them tumble unevenly or improperly you can fix it by adjusting the drum base tilt the base at about 10 degree angle on the bench so that tablets don't stick together this way they won't get stuck and will fall freely during the test reference usp chapter number 1216 when we should perform tablet fabricity test following are the four frequencies at which we should perform tablet fabricity test first at the initial compression machine setting second during the compression process at a regular frequency as per mentioned in the respective batch manufacturing record that is bmr for example hourly or two hourly third at the end of compression process and fourth in case of major machine breakdown what are the calibration parameters for fabricity test apparatus following are the three important parameters that should be calibrated first timer calibration second rpm calibration and third tilt angle calibration here are the few tricky questions questions are like why standard rotation is set 100 why not 90 or 110 why only 650 mg tablets are taken for this test why standard rpm is 25 with the following rationale you can justify these numbers this rationale includes it is a widely accepted industry practice secondly it is mentioned in the usp chapter third point practically feasible as test to complete in small time duration and easy to monitor the test and more importantly these values have been established through a combination of practical experience historical usage and consensus within the pharmaceutical and quality control communities this is one more tricky question any case of tablet final weight is greater than initial weight it is possible or not answer is it is may be possible if tablets are hygroscopic that is if tablet absorb water from the air and gain weight otherwise no it's not possible for the final weight of tablet to be a greater than the initial weight in the context of the fabricity test most probably it is procedural or weighing procedure error which are the commonly used guidelines for fabricity test in the pharmaceutical industry following are the five very commonly used guidelines that is pharmacopeia and iso guidelines which are very very commonly used for the fabricity test out of which USP chapter number 1216 is most preferred one For more videos related to our pharmaceutical industry you can visit playlist of Farm Grow YouTube channel thanks for watching